I have a dream that one day we judge each other based upon character, not by skin color, said the most infamous racist of all time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. We are living in very strange times. It seems as though that every single second, at every single moment, there's not a day that goes by without somebody being butthurt or offended by something. And today's story is just a repeat of the same old butthurt that we've been seeing that's been going on for the last few years. Today's special story of outrage concerns a girl who was looking for her dog and of course the social justice warriors or shall I say, the social justice outrage mob got really offended by that dog's name. The tweet that the social justice warriors were upset about goes as follows. Negro is missing. Please, if anybody sees him, message me. Now, if you took Spanish class, the first thing you'll know is that the various colors have different names in that language because Spanish is a Latin-based language. For example, red is rojo, green is verde, rosa is rose, and of course, black is, guess what? Negro, but of course, of course, some of these guys probably never took a Spanish class and decided that that word is racist for no good reason. You definitely ain't gonna find that dog with a name like that. Congratulations on displaying your ignorance to the world. If you took two seconds on Google, what you'll know is that the word Negro actually existed way before the word nigger. So basically, if you had done that for Twitter, you would not look like an idiot right now. There's a guy that calls himself Pretty Flocko, and he basically has the image of a guy from the movie Get Out. Another person that goes by the name of No Bitches Jr. says, You knew what you did by calling your dog that. Hold that L. Your touch that I'm stating the obvious? It is what it is, and I say what I said is racist. I swear to the non-existing God that everything you guys talk about end up talking about racism. I don't like Cuphead because Cuphead is too racist. Um, sorry sir, but how is Cuphead too racist? Well you see, cartoons in the past had racist elements, so that means that Cuphead itself must be racist. What you fucking dumbasses don't seem to understand is by overusing the word racist, the word loses its meaning every single day day. If you going on calling everything and anything you don't like racist, how do you expect people to take you seriously, especially if something does not actually involve race? Just more recently, freaking Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog was called racist for no good reason other than somebody got butt hurt over the meme. This shit is why nobody, and I do mean nobody, takes you guys freaking seriously. Like seriously, you guys are like the living harpies of this world. You guys are like HIV and AIDS. Like nobody wanna go near you guys. Like seriously, this is why nobody like you guys. You guys screech, you guys complain over the most trivial bullshit, and then like to play the victim when you guys get called out. Anyway, I think I made my point. This is stupid. Anything that's happening right now is stupid right now. So uh, please like or comment, what have you. And I'm just gonna try to watch Kung Fu movies and Godzilla. Till next time, you guys. Take care.
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.